It's a beautiful fish, right? Gotta love it. Gotta love it. That's why we do it. That's why we do it. Whoa, okay, he just took a dive. Wow! Welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. I am working the sheep's head cleaning with my recently acquired fillet knife. And I'm just getting my way around the head here. A little, little tough bone situation in here. Let me get in there. bony piece up out of my way all right okay so you'll notice with the sheep's head here and um, I know you've probably seen me clean the sheep's head before but I have wifey uh, helping me out here so um, if any of you in our midst are thrifters yourself or you have you know significant others that thrift you can definitely go check her out over on sincerely Kimmy but anyway, you can see that here in the back, it's almost like there's a separation. See how the knife slides under there? Even without me having to cut, it's like it slides right under there. So there's like a natural little seam here to get in. See how that, see how that goes? All right, so we're just gonna press and get that meat coming off of there. All right, so here we are. We're just running that knife, letting the knife do all the work as we normally would. It's like I've had this fish defrosting for a bit. It's almost like it still has a little chill in there. Letting the knife do all the work. Pressing it down to the, to the spine of that fish. And I'm trying to do the no scale technique here. I'm actually gonna leave the rib cage in. And you see when you're coming through that rib cage, you can just kind of rock back and forth. And lift up a little bit. Let me put that down for a second. Yeah, we still got some chill in here. All right, you can actually just take your finger and kind of pop the rest of that spinal cord out of place. All right, and then we'll come back with our knife and cut through the rest of it. See, nice and clean like that. Cut our fish free over here. All right, just like that. So we get our fish flipped out. All right, now we're just going to lay the knife at the base of the fish here, but I'm gonna get this little piece out of the way. Cause it always, there it goes. <laughs> that always wants to be a little, little difficult. So we're now just going to lay the knife at the base of the fish. And this is the way you can do it so you don't have to scale the fish. So this is a time saving technique here. Again, letting the knife do all the work. Just like that. I think next time I do a knife, I might get an extra half inch on it because just the way I'm working off of this edge here, it's like I almost wish I had a little more knife. All right, so there you have it. That's how it actually goes. And see, now you just, you know, you just basically look at that. Look at that skin there. So that's a nice fillet. It's not a fillet actually, but that's one thing I don't do. You see the rib cage here? These bones are huge. Um, let me see here, so I can work one of these bones out. Just to show you, if you choke on one of these bones, you were dogging that fish. Just show you how big these bones are. And when you cook it, they pull straight out. All right, so I know you've seen sheep's head cleaning videos before and they talk about cutting them and, you know, taking that rib meat out, but look how big that bone is. If you choke on that, how fast do you have to be eating? I'm just saying. <laughs> so that's how you clean the sheep's head. So basically you're gonna flip and repeat, flip and repeat. And uh, once you do that, you're good to go. Goes in there just like that. I'm gonna rinse my hand. Nice quality vinegar, unfiltered. 
And all we're gonna do here with that, we're just gonna hit it, tap it, boom, boom, just like that. And that's all I'm gonna do. What? This ain't empty. This is empty unless it's a new one. <laughs> All right, and my wife gave me my saffron thing. This is a really good uh, seasoning for fish. Um, actually, one of my sisters in Christ from Sri Lanka said this is like what you do with any meat is put some um, some um, saffron in it, and um, it actually just gives it a really nice texture. I think this thing is empty, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you put it back in the cabinet. She gave it to me, so. Uh, let me he see. It and it's always so difficult to open. He always right. does that. Guys. It's clean as a whistle. He puts empty things back, and then you think you still have it. So there it is. That moment when your wife hands you an ingredient, and you're shooting a video, and it's empty. Because he used it all. It's like Nobody American Express. But him. Priceless. Mm. All right. Be God to the <laughs> fish. <laughs> mm. Ex excuse my rudeness, um, babe. What do we have here in this uh, bowl? Oh, it's um, quinoa, onions, sauteed spinach, sweet potatoes diced, mushrooms, lemon peel, or not lemon peel, but orange peel, chipotle smoked flakes, and onions. All right, and of course, you can see the sheep's head we did well on. Um, you can see it's cooked up nice and good. I played over here on the other side of the uh, candle fixture. But um, basically on the fish, uh, I have a little seafood seasoning that I use. Um, also the falafel that I like, like as a nice new breading option that I've picked up. I think I'm going to stick with it. And um, what else is on there? Some white pepper, which a wifey has been raving about lately. So maybe she'll let me know how that tastes it's on delicious. the fish in the mix. Really so um, yeah, getting that quinoa on. So trying to eat a little healthier, you know, making it happen. So uh, this was not fried. This was sauteed on one side and then put in the oven on broil to cook the top side so uh, you tell me what are some of your healthy cooking options because you know I need you guys to be around to watch OD5 for years to come alright be kind to the fish